Oh, I can punch and sword. Cool. Can I? <laughs> yeah, take this, take this, yeah. None of you stand a chance against me. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Dark Rubnik and welcome to Chasm. Now, I have attempted to try this game before in the past, maybe one or two episodes, I don't remember. The point is, I have tried to play this game before. And I didn't want to get too far into it because, you know, it was only, you know, a way, a way early beta or alpha or whatever you'd call it. It was, what, a year? Maybe two years ago? I don't remember. Somewhere around there. And, you know... Now that it's actually released, or you're know, about to release, depending on when I actually release this video, probably on the release date, maybe slightly early, I don't know when they allow it. I'll have to look it up. All I know is that the game's now available to play, and I want to play it now! I do not remember if I had this last time I played it. I thought I'd find you up here. Did you fall asleep watching the knights ride off in their mission? Don't worry. You're the brightest recruit of, the out of this outpost has seen in some time. Soon, you'll be a full-fledged Gildian Knight. And I'll still be here running errands for the Commander. Which reminds me, he sent me to find you. Your orders are to report to Commander Silks' office at once. You better hurry. He seemed even more impatient than usual. You know, this background is... Something else, it... It looks like it's, you know, pastel painted, but it's all pixel. How do they do that? It's all pixel, but it looks like pastels. So, however, the art style painting is, you know, uh, I, I'm not, uh, I do watercolors when I do painting. I don't know the name of the other paint types. <laughs> so I'm pretty useless, aren't I? I, I? I like to dabble in art and stuff, but yet I don't know your know, different types of paints. I am brilliant. Record my progress, yes. Huh, what's this? Kneel in the light of the watchers and your deeds shall be recorded in the Tomb of Light. Their eyes will always find those who shine brightly. They remember our deeds in this life and they offer us a place by their side in the next. Let the light of the watchers illuminate your path and they shall aid you in your time of need. Cool. Now, it's awfully convenient that I now have this game to play, considering I just won Iconoclast, which is also a Metroidvania game. That game was fun, if really twisted. Holy crap. I mean, I'm sure this game will be perfectly fine, nothing twisted about it at all. <laughs> Not a lot of action this morning, but the view sure is beautiful. You can say that again, it's a really nice view. They took a lot of effort in making that very beautiful view. <laughs> I can't imagine another Metroidvania game as twisted as Iconoclast. <laughs> That'd be so weird. What, what are you doing there? Can I join you? Can I? Can I? Sorry, I can't train in, your, in the yard with you today. Yandarik says I need to stay in bed until I get better. Stop back and tell me anything interesting happens, okay? Nothing interesting has happened. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I thought that I could touch the chest or something. By the light of the watchers, I hereby pledge my sword to the land of Gildia. I will illuminate the places where darkness dwells. My shield shall always be ready to defend those who are defenseless. I will seek to be brave, just. And uh, it it didn't finish. Why, why won't it finish? Oh, I pushed down, okay. Loyal for the glory of Gildia. There we go. I am loyal. And then we go. Let's try it right. Are you the person I have to talk to? Your chest moves in very strange ways. I'm pretty sure you're a woman, but holy crap, does your chest move in very strange ways. I heard the commander is looking for you. You'd better not be making trouble like the rest of the recruits. No, I don't think I am. I do not remember what the story in the uh, beta episode was, you know? I think it was something about visiting a town that was being overrun by monsters or something like that. I don't remember. It was something interesting-ish. Everyone is out chasing down bandits and I'm stuck here cleaning. That's the last time I throw dice in the barracks. Yes. Instead, just roll them. Throwing things is bad. If you ask me, the commander's horse eats better than we do. <laughs> really? Are you saying you want to eat some hay? Well, that's your choice, man. That's your choice. 
You know the rules, recruit. No one leaves this outpost without the commander's approval. Where is the commander? Ah, take that. Take that, Mr. Dummy. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Wee. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> that makes perfect logical sense. In, in the year 398, the tyranny of Lainey's despot leader, King Trell, forced many to choose between their lives and their values. The people were lost and confused in the wake of the capital's destruction, but General Sirius Tifili rose to guide them. He made it his mission to skewer the land so that a council of leaders could establish Gildia, a kingdom without a king. This council was created to ensure that power would never again be concentrated in the hands of one person. Soon after Gildia was formed, the council's first act was to formally create the Knights of Gildia, led by none other than Tiffaly himself. It sounds kind of shady, but maybe I'm just imagining things. Have you come by? Uh, have you come to borrow another book? Remember, even the mightiest warriors can grow stronger through knowledge. And what's this? Two recruits caught gambling, both sentenced to 10 days of extra duty and death. <gasps> we received a report of bandits attacking traders of the Roast of Deathcliff. Commander has dispatched a knife to investigate. And death. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> boing. Oh, I missed it. Boing, boing. Are you the commander? Hey, how did you beat me here? Go right in, the commander is waiting. Commander, sir! Nice to meet you. At ease, recruit. I have a mission for you. There's a small mining town about three days' journey to the west called Carthus. This morning I received an urgent letter from the town's mayor. He reports that the miners were attacked by a wild beast while working deep in the mines. The last time this happened, it was only an injured wolf that had found its way down there. Regardless, they refuse to go back to work until it's been taken care of. I know this sounds like a trivial matter, but we depend on Carfus for supplies and raw materials. As you know, I sent the knights on a mission yesterday, which leaves me short, uh, which, which leaves me a bit short-handed. I need you to go to Carthus and do whatever it takes to get those mines up and running again. I think you're ready to become a Gildian Knight, but you must prove yourself first. Do you understand your orders? Yes, I do. Good. Head to the armory and get properly equipped before you set off to Carthus. Godspeed, recruit. I hope I spoke very posh. I do not know, for I am not used to speaking posh. Wow, your first mission! I had a feeling today was going to be your lucky day. Be careful on the road to Carthus. Snowstorms are treacherous this time of year. What snowstorm? I see no storm or snow out there. All I see is bright, beautiful, sunshiny days. You must be imagining things. Don't worry, I'm doing my moonwalking punches. That solves all problems. Logic. Very, very good logic. I wish my logic was this good. I wish I could do this, because that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> it's like weird-ass ice skating. Or moonwalking. Ta-da! So, the commander is sending you on your first mission. You'll be needing a weapon then. Take a sword off the rack. Okay. I will take a sword. Da-da-da-da! Make sure to equip your sword before you set off. Just remember your training, and you'll do fine. Equip sword! What, did it always look like this? Looks like something straight out of Final Fantasy. Hand! Short sword! Sh should I be expecting parties and uh, a weird combat system too? <laughs> oh, I can punch and sword! Cool! Can I... <laughs> yeah! Take this! Take this! Yeah! None of you stand a chance against me. <laughs> this is how sword fighting should work. Yeah. Stabby, stabby. Stab, 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 stab. Okay, let me out. It looks like you are all set. Make sure you have everything you need. 
Once you go through this gate, there's no turning back. Yes, I have everything I need, so let me out! Let me at him! Let me at him! Good luck. You're gonna need it. But you guys thought that there's supposed to be nothing there except, you know, maybe a wild wolf or two. Why would I need luck? I shouldn't need any luck, should I? Unless you're expecting the, the cold snowy weather to be the most dangerous thing I find. I'll be fine. Oh, he's falling asleep. That lazy bum. Here comes the snow. Why didn't they just give him a horse? I swear a horse would have been very useful. For some reason I got the feeling that I had a, I was attacked by a wolf on the road in the in the alpha slash beta whatever it was. Carthus established 6072. Windmill also established 6072. Horsey gets stabbed 6072. This town is very quiet. Yes, record my progress. Did I record it? I guess I did. There is no one home. Except for the no, the no one. Ooh, treasure chest. Yoink. Wait, and let me in. I am the hero of legend here to get my old grandmother sword. <laughs> Ooh, I've stolen someone's writings. I must confess I believed you may have some interesting to say for once. The tribe you described in your last letter seemed to have some basis in reality. Which is more than I can say about your crackpot theories about King Trell. I am glad you have put aside these childish fantasies about magical forces driving the king mad. You should focus your efforts on this ancient civilization. It may be your final chance to prove yourself. Interesting, so the king might have not been at fault for his evil war crimes of mass destruction! Thus, this kingdom is not really a kingdom built on awesomeness. It's a kingdom built on lies. On lies, I tell you! Um... Is that a fishy? I want a fishy. How do I get in these doors? I went in, but they won't let me in. The treasure chests that I cannot access. Maybe I need people to come in here before I can access them. And we got skins, we got some sort of building. Carver's Mines. It's locked. There's definitely someone in here. It's just an old fella waiting for some person to arrive. What's this? Missing persons. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of the following people should contact the mayor immediately. That. Wait, princess? Are they missing an actual princess? Huh. That was a long list of people. Maybe that's all the people in the town. Carthus' 100th anniversary is nearly upon us. On the 122nd day of the Lunar. 700 oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> we will gather to celebrate the historic day the town was founded by the JK Carfus I. All town folks and visitors are invited to join. Please bring a dish to share and we'll see you there. Ding ding! Thank the watchers! A guilty night! Oh, you're only a recruit. Dang it, we're all going to die. Well, I reckon I should just be thankful. I'm not alone anymore, because everyone else is dead. Again, just like last time, <laughs> my family had been running Carthus for generations, but has begun to unravel under my watch. The mines have become less and less productive in spite of our best efforts. In a last ditch effort to keep Carthus alive, my crew began blasting in search of a new vein of ore. Some sort of beast emerged from one of the new passages, and the miners fled to the surface. I wrote to your outpost for help, but then a few days later, things got much worse. In the dead of the night, a gang of hideous creatures came up from the mines and ransacked the town. When the morning came, I finally worked up the courage to investigate and found the town empty. Please, you must find the missing townsfolk and help restore Carthus. Here, take this key. It's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> it will open the gate to the mines. And please remember to report back here if you find anyone. If they're alive. Wanted Felix Farron, the Drake Striker. Notorious duo are wanted by the Kingdom of Gilead to stand trial for their crimes of fevery and piracy. They are last seen heading east towards the Landorian Mountains. Beware, both are considered to be armed and dangerous. 
If you see either individual, please contact the authorities immediately. I guess I will see them then. Because that's completely random to say that and not see them. Is there anything around town here that I'm supposed to do? I don't think so. I think I'm just supposed to go in here. Ooh, I am now in the mines, but now this episode is over. <laughs> if you want to find out what's going to happen next, well, you know what to do. You have to hit that like and subscribe button or share it with friends. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Bye! It may be your final chance to prove yourself. Interesting, so the king might have not been at fault for his evil war crimes of mass destruction. Thus, this kingdom is not really a kingdom built on awesomeness. It's a kingdom built on lies. On lies, I tell you!